Hello. My eyes have started to water up a bit. I thought I was going to do if I could only keep 10 palettes. And I started to think about it a while ago when Annette did her video. And then I was, oh no. Because I didn't know if I were going to pick, you know, sentimental or just 10 palettes that go well together or whatever. So I decided to divide this video into three different parts. <laughs> Um, the first part is going to be 10 palettes that I would be very sad to be without uh, and half of them are for sentimental reasons but sentimental reasons um, there is no rhyme or reason it's just 10 palettes I thought of that I would need and some of them may be in some other video I'm going to do but yeah, 10 palettes, and it was so hard. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a video with 10 palettes I would pick to, you know, feel like I have have it all covered. Um, you know, if I could only have 10 palettes in my collection, what palettes I could choose. And this is only eyeshadow palettes, and I could not pick single eyeshadows or, you know, palettes I have created myself. Um, yeah. And the last video is going to be 10 palettes I would pick, you know, if that I haven't used. 10 palettes that I am, you know, if I can only keep 10 palettes and I can only keep 10 palettes that I haven't used, then 10 palettes. You get what I mean, you know, palettes that I think are good, uh, that I trust in the rep, you know. Um, I will explain more in that video. But this video is 10 palettes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to start with the sentimental ones. I Okay, did I take away some? Okay, I have obviously only kept three sentimental ones. Then there is one that is both sentimental, but I would pick it either way. <laughs> and then the rest. Yeah, okay. So one of the first sentimental ones is this. Uh, this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I have talked about this in another video uh, in the beginning of my channel. Um, this was so hard to get a hold of. Now everyone can get a hold of it, but when it came to Sweden there were only a few and I had to stock Sephora like crap. And I really enjoyed the palette as well. There's nothing wrong with the palette. But this just means a lot to me. Because it was really hard to get. And I were planning on taking in some of the Kat Von D palettes. But I don't feel good about doing that. And I'm just like, I go with the feeling. So there will be no Kat Von D palettes in here, I think. No. But this is absolutely one I would grab for. And I would actually know that you get... A good look because I've used it a lot um, and you will never see that in my palettes that I have used them a lot because I clean them and it still smells nice but yeah so this is one palette I would absolutely grab and I will be very sad if I didn't have it then my naked 2 uh, I don't use it as much now because I have another palette that is in here that I like more right now um, but this is, you know, one of the palettes I keep the brush in. <laughs> uh, but this is one of my staple palettes. Uh, the one I always used when I was going on a job interview or something important. And this is probably the first palette that I would hit pan in because I already have dents. And in another video I have also explained why there aren't bigger dents because I have two of these. Um, but yeah. I love this. I usually, I have, like I said, a second one that I always take with me when I travel. Um, but nowadays I don't use it as much because I don't think there is enough mattes in it. That is not something I would say some years ago, but now I say it. Um, that's why I don't use it as much. But my go-to look is 
booty call. That one and this is that gun. No, that's pistol. And a bit of busted. Yeah. Yeah, I I would feel sad if I didn't have this. And my electric palette. I'm so happy I have this. I love the front. Um and there are very good shades in it as well. Not all of them are excellent, but most of them are. And I just love this. This means so much to me. Uh, I bought this when I was in Stockholm, uh, visiting my friend Amelie that I visited a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and I bought this, I think it was... Was it three years ago? So I didn't buy this when this came out, but they had it in the Kix store in... Um, in Stockholm and I bought it and I'm glad because then it went discontinued so I love this palette um, and I have a video where because you can't get a hold of this right now but I have a video where I show you like 12 dupes and then I do a look with this one and the best dupe in my mind uh, or in my opinion um, it's under the playlist half face dupe uh, something I can't remember what it's called but you can find it if you search for electric palette and that is the three sentimental ones I was going to have another one but it it fell on the goal line as we would say in Swedish uh, how is it in Swedish I fell to no I don't know it didn't make the cut but you know I love this palette it's made by my friend Paulina and this is a palette I would take it just for that purpose um, it means a lot to me um, for different reasons uh, that I've talked about before but I would also grab it because it's one of my favorite palettes both in how the shades perform and color story because I love greens I love pinks I love purple I love purple so this is amazing and I would take it both because it's Paulina palette but also because of the shades this is an excellent palette and it's one of my absolute top favorite palettes yeah this is not a video with my top 10 palettes by the way if that wasn't clear but this would be in that type of video that was four then I would take this this is the Certified Tropical Wonders and as you may know I have two of these as well because of the black explosion <laughs> but I'm starting to think what I'm going to do with that palette because I'm not... This was in my product pan but I haven't used it this much this year but these shades are excellent uh, they are all mattes um, I love them, I just love this palette, this is my favorite rainbow palette um, the only thing I'm missing, what was that? Uh, now I can't think of it, so it can't be that important, right? Turquoise maybe? I don't know. But I love this palette, it's excellent as a, you know, to get transitions shades. I love it and it's so pretty. <laughs> then a new favorite, Tartlet in Bloom. I love this. This is a neutral palette, but this is my new, this is so hard to film this, but you know what it looks like. Uh, this is, oh it smells nice. This is my new favorite for everyday, everyday looks when I'm going on important stuff that I don't want to wear this type of look to. Um, and it's very easy to use, um, it performs very well. I'm really impressed by the Tarte formula so far. I have a lot of palettes on Tarte I haven't used yet. Um, but I have high hopes because I really, really like this. Then, I wanted to have them all, <laughs> but I decided to only pick one. And I took, of course I'm going to include one of the Novena palettes because they are awesome. Um, I said it in my favorites video. 
um, I love these and this is my favorite this is the volume 3 these are so good these mattes and the shimmers are fantastic as well I love these if I could I would take them all <laughs> but yeah I love these I would cry if I didn't get one of these with me <laughs> how many have I now and two three four five six two, seven then I would actually take a Colourpop palette and I would take the Blue Moon. Blue is the first colour I used um, when I did my eyeshadow. I love blue. I don't do blue that much right now because a lot of brands don't have good blues. But these blues are great. I love this. And there are different types of blues and the blue shimmer is excellent. And there is also a blue duochrome. I'm I just think this is a good palette and I really wanted the yellow one as well uh, because yellow is also hard to find good yellows but um, I just love this palette and I would be very happy to have it with me <laughs> then I had two from the same brand <laughs> and that's why it took a lot of time for me to record this video because I couldn't find the lids because it's two melt stacks um, and these are, I always think of these when I think of my favorite things, even though I don't use them that much. And the first one is the Radioactive Stack. I have not used the Radioactive palette, so I don't know if the formula is the same. But these pressed pigments are amazing. And I have now I have found some other neon pigments that are as good, but before it was impossible. But they look like these this not these um they are amazing that red orange is insane i have these in a different type of palette that you may have seen in my collection video did i just put pink everywhere now yeah i always do this mistake when i close it i drag the Thing down in the shadow look I just made a dent and I have pink everywhere oh no this is gonna stain I have pink everywhere. it's a very crumbly formula but you know it's a pressed pigment so you have to be careful why did I do that now I'm not going to get out of I dis did this with the other stack as well that I'm going to show you, so I should have learned, but did I? No. God, how, how? Be careful. God, did I do it with some other shade? No. No, just that shade. Yeah, okay, so I'm pink. <laughs> the last stack is the hay stack. Now I'm trying to not do the same mistake. This is all shimmers, the other one was all mattes. Um, these are one of the best shimmers ever. And they are in the basic shades, you know, gold, silver, uh, a bronze and a copper shade. These are amazing. Why did I swatch it there? These are amazing. Oh, where is it going to be? Especially that red copper. I love that. These are... Mm. Oh my god. I just want to swatch them all. They are so freaking awesome that I need to use these more now I'm not going to do the same mistake here I love them they are unbelievable it's one of the best shimmers ever um, and I would be very sad if I didn't have that oh god this is going to be hard to take off now, now I'm red okay now we're going to close this carefully so I don't do they did that hmm that's not good. Okay. And this haystack has names like. Uh, wait, 
Ganja, Haze, Bogart, and Indica. That's why I don't keep them in stacks. Well, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to take these out of the palette I have them in and have them in the stacks. But since they are making a mess of themselves when doing that, I'm not going to do that. Mm, annoyed. But yeah, these are... Oh my freaking god! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't see that. That's a lot of pink that has transferred. Oh. Well, it didn't show up in the in the pan that I took away that much, but there is pink eyeshadow everywhere. Awesome. But yeah, okay. This is weird. Um, this is 10 palettes. I just went with my gut feeling. And these are 10 palettes I would pick. Uh, but like I said, I would do another video where I pick 10 that could make my life not complete since I would only have 10 palettes instead of all of my palettes um, and 10 palettes I would pick that I have not tried yet um, we'll see if I will record those now or not but you don't care but that was my 10 palettes uh, I would love to see a lot of people have already done this uh, but I would love to see Marlin do this and uh, who else hasn't done this? Uh, who else hasn't done this? I feel like everyone has already done it. I tag all of you that have not done this to do it. And you Molly, because I know Molly you have not done this. Uh, yeah, that was all. Bye!